Painting the seasons can be great fun. Here in this winter scene, I've used white gouache for splattering the snow, waterproof ink for the branches and cow parsley, and watercolour for the soft distance and the stronger foreground. This is the same scene in springtime. Here I've used the oil pastels in the foreground for the daffodils, the pencils for the blackberry bush and the wire fencing, and the watercolours for the distant fields and for the stronger foreground. And the same scene again, but this time in autumn, I've used water-soluble ink for the bracken and for the blackberry bush, watercolours for the distance and all round the foreground, and masking fluid for the cow parsley and for the fence. I'm going to paint the same scene again, this time in summer. First of all, I need to apply some masking fluid to protect the white paper, and I'm going to place this on the foxgloves, just a few foxgloves here. And what I've already done is I've sketched in the main features with the pencil. I'm sketching in the wire fence and the tops of some of the foliage. Perhaps a little bit more of the fence. Now just let's wait a few minutes while this dries. Just place a little bit on there. Right. Right, now it's dried. Let's start painting. I'm placing in the foxgloves with quite a gaudy pink here. Because in summertime everything's lush. And letting that slightly dry while I'm doing the greenery and the fence posts. So a brownie colour for the fence posts. Painting those in fairly strongly. This is over a pencil outline, but these run quite gently. Can you see the red running into the brown? There we go. And just a few more. And placing a little bit of blue into those as it goes into the, the distance. There we are. Now we've done the fence posts, let's start the greenery. I use a basic green and add yellows for the more lighter colours. So these are embedding the gate posts into the foreground and the foxgloves. And as I need to get some more dense undergrowth here, I'll add a bit more blue to the green. And this goes into the background and around the light greenery. Now you can, part, you can let this partly dry and then work into it afterwards. But some of it is rather good the way that it diffuses together. Adding a little bit more yellow. I'm bringing this into the background for the distant field over my fence, which again I'm going to let run together and then I'm going to lift the masking fluid later on. A bit of yellow ochre this time, just varying the greens. Bringing this into the foreground. And why that's still wet, I can use my pencils. So bring the green into it and you can just work straight into the wet and you can go round the leaves with the pencil. And then I can get another green to make it a bit more exciting. Otherwise it, you'll end up with all the same tone and it's a bit boring. So you can also go into the negative shapes. There we go. And you can also hold two pencils together and do twice as many grasses. Right. Now let's do a little bit of the background blue for the distant hills. 
while that is still wet, a pure yellow coming in and blending with that foreground. It's quite colourful yet, isn't it? It's very, very colourful. Um, and a bit of colour in the foreground. I'm going to put a touch of blue here for the sky. Lovely sunny weather. Now the cow parsley needs a bit of attention, so we can draw in some of the details. It's on the other side. A bit of darker here with the pencil. So we've used watercolour so far, masking fluid and pencils. This, this combination is very, very good for sketching out of doors. And the last little bit I'm going to do is getting some green and putting in some salt so we've got a lovely riot of summer foliage over on the, the right hand corner. Nice bit of dark. Slop it all over. There we go. And then place in some salt. If you still need a little bit more green, you can put little dobs of green in there and not disturb the salt, as long as you do that in the um, initial stages. Right, shall we let that dry now? Right, the next phase is to do a little bit more watercolours and a few more details. I'm going to put a little bit of a wash into the background to cover up some of the white paper now so that when I rub off the masking fluid it's going to show up. The salt is almost dry. Bit of blue into the background. And here we are. And over the masking fluid. I'm going to get some pencils. When there's a lot of greenery around, it's good to look for the red. So I put some burnt sienna pencil into the green wash. And this gives a warm glow to it. And I can go round some of the leaves, getting a little bit more of a detail You can spend quite some time on this section. And a little bit more green on this side. And with the pencil, you can run over with the water and slightly diffuse that, that area too. Tiny bit more green for the negative shapes. You need to find out whereabouts in your painting you need your focal point. And you need to place the dark bits there. So I'm going to highlight this bit because this part is going to be my focal point. I love putting pure colours in amongst the more muted colours because it adds a bit more excitement to the area. Tiny bit more green. Placing in more details to the heads and stalks and around some of the leaves. Because it's summertime, the flowers become quite dense and lush. Right round here. And flick some more details there. The cow parsley needs to have a head of blue on it, 
There's a nice contrast to the flowers. And I can place just a few more flower heads in there, wet into wet this time. Tiny bit of salt into these heads. Small bit of green hair over my masking fluid. And let this dry. Right, for the last section, I'm going to rub off the masking fluid and do a little bit more pencil work. Mm. Rub briskly over the flowers, over the fence, and rub off salt, which has now made some really nice markings in the watercolour and across cow parsley. I'm going to put some light pencil work so that some of the leaves show up, light against the dark. And then some dark for the fence posts with a pencil. And some detailing of the top of this and bringing some of the darks of the wire fencing back down into the foliage. A little bit of detail there. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue watercolour, just fading that slightly. And a bit of pink for the flowers. Just over the white masking fluid, just softening that. Tiny bit of yellow hair, where the masking fluid exposed the white paper. cow parsley slightly floating here so anchor it down <laughs> there I think we've finished well this is the end and I hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting mixed media offers you endless possibilities so why don't you have a little go yourself